Hey, my name is Ravi Patel. I'm here with my best friend, well, top three maybe. I don't want to commit <laughs> to that. This is Rishi. Hey. 50 years ago today, our dads landed in Chicago from India to start a new life with very little money, chasing the American dream. And today we're going to retrace the steps of their first days here. Okay. It's on? It's on, baby. Yeah. It's like a home video. We want to take a picture. We want to take a picture. Taking a picture here, right? Oh, man. Ravi, thank you, Veta. This is great. This going to be a good time, right? Yeah. Okay, do you guys recognize this building? Yeah, this is where it all started in Chicago. <laughs> this is it. My God, look at this. So you land at the Greyhound bus station. Well, I remember coming out of this place, and then I found somebody here, and he asked me where I wanted to go. So I asked the guy that I want to spend a night here. Where am I going to go? And he said, well, come up, come with me, and you, you are going to spend your night with me. Was this an Indian guy that just this came This was up an here? Indian guy, yeah. Why did you get in the car with that strange a person? A stranger? Yeah. All you knew was that the guy's color of the skin was like mine, so I yeah. felt very comfortable talking Actually, with him. Actually, it was a comfort more than this fear. This was a level of comfort, yes. This is after we graduated. Yeah. We had an engineering degree, but jobs were hard to find, and we didn't have any money. Mm. We didn't even drink Coke. Like, if we get a can of Coke in one week, we were like in heaven, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what was your first car? My car was a Pontiac Firebird. Wait, is that the car that's what? in that picture? That it's picture. a red car? Yes. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. your Firebird. Yeah. yeah. So you guys got like cool cars for your first cars. I didn't even know at that time they were cool cars. Dude, hold on. You, the pictures I've seen of you, yeah. you had a pipe, sideburns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You knew what you were putting out there. You knew what you were doing, man. <laughs> you know where Ravi went? No. Hey, guys, you guys want Oh. Oh my god! How about that? They need a firebird. You guys need a ride? Yeah. Oh is that a boy? Oh hey, you Indians need a ride? <laughs> I said to pick up whatever Indians I see at the Greyhound station. <laughs> what a surprise. This car is much nicer than the one he got. Oh my god. Woo. What do you think? Surprise? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> People think we are crazy going in a convertible yeah. in this weather. Yeah. Oh. Should we put the top? Let's put the top on. Oh my god, it's freezing. Which way am I going? I don't know. Wait, where's Ontario? Should I go straight? We're going straight. So our dads had another good friend named Rajni that they cruised around town with. He since passed away, but we decided to surprise them by picking up his son BJ in the little India of Chicago. Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> It's good to have us all. Good. 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 good to see you. Good to see you too. We talked about your dad a lot today. You know what business he bought? What? Porn bookstore. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, the bookstore where they sell you all the sex things, you know, the porn? Um, your dad opened a porn uh, bookstore. I mean, I know that he, he was involved with this. He told me the <laughs> he story. He said he wasn't involved. Wait, you guys owned it too? No, we didn't know. Rajini owned it. They both? They both denied involved. Gold piece of lying. Look at us tearing up Brown Town like it's Bourbon Street. <laughs> hey, where are we going? Does anybody know where I'm on it. I'm on it. This thing drives like a boat, man. Yeah. <laughs> like your dad sounded like the coolest leader of the pack. You are you are no fun compared to your dad. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks. What the hell? Oh my oh god. god. Wait, 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 wait. Are we at your old place? Yeah, right there, right there. Which this one? This this across here. Yeah. It has changed so much. How so? There was no fence in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I barely recognized it. Which one is it then? Right, right this building, 853, second floor. You know what? This fence wasn't there. There, there is a new. Yeah, we get it. You, the fence is. My Let's God. go to apartment 2B. <laughs> they were seeing their old apartment for the first time in decades. Yeah, look there. at that. I was seeing it for the first time ever. So it actually cool. seemed kind of nice. Yeah, this is big. I was thinking that you guys were like squatting in like one room. Oh, yeah. no, no, it was big space. It was not You know, it's funny because the way the stories are told don't always reflect the, the space. The stories are like 30 guys sleeping on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, it makes it, it sounds as if there was some more suffering involved. Yeah. 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 I'm starting to think that life wasn't nearly as hard as you guys actually made it out to me. Dad, what's the most uh, amount of guys you put in the bathtub? Yeah, look time? at that. You guys all had to take baths together? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, but I remember when 
More than four people got together. Uh huh. So we would sit on the floor and eat. And that's how it was growing up. Yeah. Whenever we had more than four people. Yeah. At yeah. one time, how many people lived here? Normally, legally three. Legally, legally three. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have any privacy. There was nothing going on. Right. Yeah. There was another time that apparently there was a video being watched in this mm -hmm. apartment. Real. Yeah, that was a. Here it comes. Not so good movies. And we put a white bed sheet mm -hmm. and a projector here, and we were screening that movie. Mm -hmm. And the next door, people saw it. From the other side. All those x rated yeah. <laughs> and they came complaining next door and came here. Because they had kids. Yeah. <laughs> And we didn't know. <laughs> I think it's like such a beautiful story. I think all of you guys have incredible stories, you know, borrowing money. And dad said when he left the village, you got a whole procession. People were coming our home to see the passport because they had never seen passport. They heard about it. We had no option but to succeed because we couldn't go back. It would be a biggest embarrassment and a yeah. failure. So we got to succeed. And we got to make it, and we got to call other people who are there, who are waiting, and I hope that we will get them. I think that's inherent in being an immigrant. You have to well, be a huge risk taker to just be willing to move to a completely different country. How do you define success today? I think at the time I, we came, <laughs> all we wanted was make some money yeah. and be comfortable living. Yeah. But today, I think, at the end of the day, after no matter what you do, mm -hmm. I just want to be happy. I mean, we're normally you need good health, good wife, good kids, good money. What the heck? I got everything. So if you're looking for somebody, person who got everything, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> One of my fears right now is that I feel like I'm not enjoying every day of my life because I'm so concerned with achieving things. You are enjoying more than I ever did. You know? <laughs> okay, so don't give me that. Dear. Do you guys have, like, what's your biggest fear right now? I think there is a concern in my mind about the way the society in general, the environment right now. I feel like we are becoming a divided society, mm -hmm. and that concerns me. Not for myself, but for the grandkids more. Yeah. Because color barriers, racial strifes that we see today, it tells me that this is not the country we want to see America as my country. Yeah. I want to see a safe place, yeah. a better place where my kids can grow without any fear. And that's the concern I have. Back then, what did you guys do for fun? Mm, our big thing was maybe buy a six pack and go on a Lakeshore Drive, <laughs> sit there, and just drink there one or two can of beer. <laughs> and that to me was a highlight. Of course, we had very limited resources, so. This is beautiful. It, it is. is beautiful. Huh? Oh. Okay. <laughs> just like the good old days. <laughs> Clumsy. Oh, uh, yes. Just uh, pass one down. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look who's back. Still <laughs> got it. Still got oh, it. man. Still got it. <laughs> to 50 years in America, having great life, where we started, right here. OK. Yep, yep, yep. Cheers. Yep, yep, yep. Cheers. Cheers. Are we celebrating this every year now? Oh, that's a good idea. Can we do it in June instead? <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome.